If I had one wish, it would be a new update. I'd get to see the bar. We'd get new content. It would take our game far. If I had one wish, it would be that 2022 saw a new Animal Crossing New Horizons update. And lo and behold, I go to my game and I see a new version and they didn't let me see the bar. The game updated for me when I wasn't even playing my Switch. This is crime of the year right here. Nintendo, since when did the game automatically update without me getting to see the bar? I love watching the bar. I love watching the bar, but we're gonna find out what this update brought because it is the first update of 2022, my friends. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach with Switch Force and Animal Crossing is new once again. I'm so ready for it. You're so ready for it. Honestly, it's a dance break because I just love hearing this intro soliloquy, this music fest that we don't get to hear as often anymore because this game hasn't updated since December 15th. It's now February 16th and we're ready to rock and roll and see what is new in the game that we love. Let me know in the comments down below if you got this update and hit that like button if you're ready for more updates. Kirby is coming. We want mouthful mode in Animal Crossing. Have you seen the Kirby froggy chair? That is a colorway we need. All right, where are the Zelda villagers? Where's the Splatoon connection? What's going on? We are ready. I know they said no more major updates. I know. I don't buy it. Well, I mean, I buy it, but I would really buy something new. Like, honestly, I'm ready to spend again on Animal Crossing New Horizons. I keep seeing Pocket Camp get all the fun, and I'm like, Isabel, come on, can you bring some of it our way? How have you all been doing? I feel like we only get to talk once a week or something like that. For better or worse, I've been playing a bunch of other Switch games, and maybe you have too. My friends at Lexar make the Lexar Play Card, which is the premier best memory card for your Nintendo Switch. So if you have been getting other games, or if you plan to get other games, and want somewhere to store them and make sure they're safe and secure, and can get accessed fast and fine, the Play Card is the best card. All right, they have all sorts of sizes. They're on good discounts, good sales, great prices. Hit the link in the description down below. Every time you do, it helps support the channel, my friends at Lexar, and our Animal Crossing family. We all love each other, we all support each other, and we're all waiting to see what's in this new version. I am wearing fancy pants, okay? These are fancy pants because they're dreamy pants, all right? I'm dreaming about you, I'm dreaming about me. I'm dreaming about the things that we wish we could see. Like, I don't know, a new NPC, or maybe some items falling from a tree, or at least from a present high in the sky. Shoot it down now! My oh my. Anyhow, let's talk about 2.05. All right, Nintendo, you know, their last update, 2.04, was actually interesting, right? It fixed the Nakey glitch, and we had seen things inside the, the update via data mine about a winter update. Now, right about now would be the perfect time for a winter update because we're still in winter, and we are approaching the D-Day. Now, I call D-Day Festival Day because that's the day of the last holiday that still needs to be repeated, right? Everything else, CJ, high five has been repeated, right, in terms of like Halloween and now Valentine's Day and Toy Day and Turkey Day. They've all been done more than one. But Festival has not, so we're waiting to see if they do bring anything new like they've done for Bunny Day and a bunch of the other holidays. Speaking of Bunny Day, how coincidental. I did not mean to do this. It's like the game knows. Anyways, we know what's happening in 2.05, and it is not going to be bringing that winter update. Bah humbug. I think if the winter update does come, it will be absolutely 2.1. Because 2.05 is another set of fixes, my friends. All right, now fixes are good. We shouldn't just poo-poo this. I know a lot of people poo-poo this because it's like, man, fixes, that's not something fun. But like, it is Nintendo showing that they are still paying attention to the game. And as long as they're paying attention, I feel like there's possibility. Once they give up on everything, then it's like, okay, it's done. They, they've looked beyond it. I mean, look, they're shuttering down the Wii U shop, the 3DS shop. The point I'm trying to make is Nintendo is ruthless. Like, when they're done, they're like, we're done. But they're not done with ac &H, so I'm still fingers crossed for some new villager packs. Or some way, like, monetize the game, take my money, we give it to them, right? Like, Nintendo, everybody, repeat after me. Nintendo, we will give you money if you make new content. Thank you. All right, so here's what we got going on in 2.05. All right, they have fixed an issue where the player could not progress through the explanation about Photopia under specific conditions after moving to another island. Very specific. They also fixed an issue where the game would not progress after a message was displayed when a conversation had started and a lot of furniture items had been placed on the island. Okay, I want to pause about that one. Now imagine if you had placed a bunch of furniture, right? You're decking it out. You're going for five-star fantastico. And then somebody comes over and is like, hey, 
Hey, Zach, I, I lost my favorite book, okay? I'm, I'm thinking of a new pose. I, I thought about high five pose. And, and then the game just freezes because it can't handle all that furniture on the island. You just saw it, by the way. It just did a pop in for me, even though I just have a freaking few big things right here. Too big for the game, I guess. Um, but that would suck if your game just got stuck and you couldn't progress because you designed it too well. That's really not cool, Nintendo. Thank you for fixing that. Um, they also fixed an issue where Luna would repeat the explanation related to search by island name over and over again. Stuck in a Luna loop? Man, that nose is tantalizing, but I do not need to be stuck in the room with her. Fixed an issue where island residents would wear custom designs as different pattern type than how the custom design was displayed in the tailor shop. Basically custom designs like, I don't know, the Able Sisters were going behind your back and tricking you and the custom designs they showed, they had different ones that they were actually putting forth. It's like you made the order from Mercari, but you got a knockoff. Like what the heck? It always takes so long to ship from Mercari. You notice that? People just be slow on Mercari. Hmm. They also fixed an issue where an island resident visiting a player's home would remain in the player's home after the player used the Room Sketch app, the Happy Home Network app, or the Custom Designs portal during the visit. So basically, these villagers were like, yo, we're, we're making a house in your house, which honestly, is that a bug or a feature? Because I would love it if we could roomie it up with villagers. You know how there's the roommate feature in Happy Home Paradise? You know about that, where like as you progress throughout the game, you can get two villagers to... Uh, hang out together. I would love to see a villager request to come hang out with me. Cranston, it better be you. You know we buddy buddy like that. All right, next up, they fixed an issue where a player would use a door decoration when remodeling the home of an island resident, but the door decoration would sometimes be removed when a new day started. Yo, that's a great one because the villager's like, I love you, but I hate what you put on my door. I love you, but your design skills stink. That's the way you know that you really need, really need to go on YouTube and look up some design videos because even the villagers think your designs aren't great. Oh boy. They also made other adjustments and corrections to improve the gameplay experience. What does that mean? Did you bring new content? Because my game is not approved unless you tell me that Festival is getting some new stuff, unless you tell me that the Zelda Villagers are coming, unless you tell me that this game is going to really get the upgrade it needs. 40 million players, come on, yo. We've been waiting. We've been being patient. I'm going to hide by my house, and I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to slap a fool when they come around because they won't update this game. I'm just hiding out. I'm waiting for it. Now, they also made fixes to the DLC, because now it's separate, right? They got to patch the game, and then they also have some patch notes for the DLC. They fixed an issue where the player could not progress past the loading screen when trying to revisit a vacation home if the player previously released an ant or a fly in the yard of that vacation home while the conditions for ants or flies to appear were not met. Oh my god, the ant or fly glitch is amazing. Okay, so apparently, if you popped out an ant or a fly and it wasn't the season for ants or flies, you could literally lock the game to a point where you could not visit that island. It became a no man zone, a no woman zone, a no person zone, a no pup zone, and you could not visit it, right? You could not get there because they had an illegal species, which I think is amazing. In my head, I'm just picturing like Rossetti's just locked the area down, right? He's like, nobody's coming in, nobody's going out. You screwed this up and we're gonna make you pay. All right, it's pretty funny to say the least. They also fixed an issue where subsequent events would not progress properly if the player closed the software during a specific point while working on a facility. They also made their other adjustments and corrections to improve gameplay experience, but that's interesting too. If you like shut down the game while you were working on a facility, you could not progress. And honestly, I've seen a lot of people message me about unique scenarios in Happy Home Paradise. They're like, hey, I cannot get the school to continue. I cannot get the hospital to keep working. And, and maybe this update fixes a lot of them. And that's why I don't poo-poo these updates, right? I know it's not 2.1. I know it's not bringing in big new features, new villagers, things that we, we'd love to see in the game. But these updates are still important because it helps make the play experience better for some people that aren't lucky enough to have their game just work. The fact of the matter is there's a lot going on in Animal Crossing New Horizons and Happy Home Paradise and problems are going to occur. And so thankfully, at least Nintendo is on top of it when it comes to this. All right, they may be sleeping on the actual content, sleeping on our coin that we're willing to fork over, but at least they're not sleeping on the fixes. And for that, I give them a round of applause. Now I'm hopeful that we will get 2.1 and I still believe there will be new festival items. That's happening in 11 days, okay? And counting, right? The 28th is when festival is supposed to hit, 26th, 10 days, woo! 26th is when festival is supposed to hit, right? And so we'll find out if we are getting new gear or not. And I really think we will, at least something. So I'll keep you all posted there. In the meantime though, hope you enjoyed this update video. It's good to say hi. Hope we got a little dancing out, a little singing out, got to get our expression self-expressed, feeling the best, and now get some rest like Blathers is doing right here. So hit that like button on your way out. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. I miss you, I love you, and until next time, Switch Force, out.